Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? How are you guys doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, Mr. Fabio, do you have a different uh, style today? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at him. Right, Aida? Yes. It looks like more. <laughs> I don't know, uh, were you serious? Yeah, today. I you started. got a meeting? <laughs> mm, yeah. Ah, that's the reason it's why. Because we have to require some information with the class. So. <laughs> yeah, I remember that you told us yesterday that. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you finish and good? It was, it was okay? Yeah, they, send, they say they will send more information tomorrow. Oh. And we still have a lot of information. Today we find some, some things, so we have to <laughs> check a little bit more. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you, you're missing a tie. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when I came home, I, I just. You died. took it off, or you said, like, no, <laughs> enough. This is not me. <laughs> yeah. More relaxed. More relaxed. More relaxed. Yeah. Or oh, a bow tie, right? A bow tie? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, the bow tie. Bow tie, that that's bow tie. How it. Yeah, that's how you call bow tie. Um, but those that one that looks more... like a, like a, like a butterfly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those are for more formal things, right? For like wedding song. Uh, well, it's up to you. So it, it depends. Well, nowadays I do see like a younger, a young man's using uh, instead of like a regular tie. I think they prefer to use uh, to use bow tie. Nowadays, yeah, the different kind of colors, but it's up to you. It depends on your style, how you feel comfortable with. Yeah, I thought uh -huh. they ahead. were only used on, on special occasions, special events like yeah. weddings or, or, or some something too special, you know, to describe. Yeah, if they if they can use it, but also if you have a meeting or if you go to church, I don't know. It depends. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, good to know. Good to know. Yeah. I don't know if I have. Well, I had to let you know something, <laughs> and I don't make you feel guys a little bit comfortable. But uh, I, my pets, <laughs> my dogs, they have a bow tie. <laughs> they do, yeah, they do have both of them, and also they have like a regular mini tie, right? Yeah, they look so handsome, yeah. and the, the, the bow tie that they do have is red color. You know what? I'm waiting because I um I ordered two <coughs> two sweaters for them. For this, but, for yeah, this for this holiday. for this for weather, this. right? Yeah, yeah. And, and and also the sweater is has like a little hat so they can cover oh. the ears. <laughs> yeah, and um, I think they will be in yellow color. Uh, well, I I I prefer um red color because red they look really handsome. Oh. But uh, <laughs> well. But I, but I don't look so it's okay. I also order by the end of this month a pajamas. <laughs> but a pajama that means it is kind of like the sweater that has a cup, but at the same time, the <coughs> pants. Pants? Yeah, pants. pants? Like the it's one that a... you used to, to run or to go to the gym. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, complete, yeah. the complete set. Like, yeah, complete whole... set. Yes, but it's set up. Uh, to fix in a dog because of course you need to like space for the tail right yeah. <laughs> and when they go to the bathroom or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. Mm. so yeah i right now in the meantime <laughs> i bought them uh right at um daughter city uh, i bought them like a two t-shirts and in the meantime one that says i'm daddy's boy <laughs> and the other one says i'm the boss you know it, it is because uh even though chestnut is whiskey's baby but he's um he's a different kind of a uh, pedigree so he's a little bit taller and a little bit longer so mm -hmm. his size is l and the dad his size is m mm -hmm. so i and i was looking for the same kind of message for both t-shirts but mm -hmm. i couldn't find it so mm -hmm. so in in that case whiskey is, is our first pet so that means that's why he's the daddy's boy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking something for the, my my little uh, baby girl cat, my kitty. kitty. I don't know. You know what? I'm planning to do something. <laughs> uh, well, I hey guys, I have to let you know. I'm gonna change my hair. 
So I don't know if I, next week I will come in a different way. I don't know. Hopefully I'm not going to yeah. scare you, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I'm trying to look for something where I need to buy a specific dress that I like. So I think uh, one, once I found it, I'm going to like order a mini dress for the kitty. <laughs> so uh, we can take a picture together. Okay. Yeah, it would be like a Photoshop, right? That would be good. Well, but I don't you have know. To show us. It's a possibility, okay? It's a possibility okay. that I might change my <laughs> uh, my appearance this weekend. I don't know. This weekend. Okay. Hopefully, because next week I'm start training. Three weeks of training. And I have to go to the site. So that means that it's going to be really cold, but you cannot uh, imagine. Yeah. It and will be really cold. cold. Yeah. If I take a picture and I post it on the WhatsApp and you see me with a mask, with the sweater that covers my head, with a blanket and everything, that means that it's really cold. You know what? That's why I don't like to be in the side because when it's the weather is like this, the AC is colder. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. That's horrible. I know that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and and I and I don't like it uh -uh, at all because with my <laughs> sinus problem. So well, I need to prepare for next coming week. It will be three. <laughs> yeah, it will be three weeks in a row. But we'll have really? a weekend stuff, so that will be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> at least for these three weeks. All right. Yeah, so I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy to start a new section there. So that's cool. Yeah. And I'm gonna learn something really new. Really interesting. I like it. So hopefully I'm gonna share some some vocabulary with you as well. All righty. Hey, we Thank do you. have, yeah, we do have also many girls and boys here. We do have also oh, oh. <laughs> hey Mr. Henry, why you change? It's gonna be James now. James uh, on the Rosa. I'm from I'm from other device. You're for a different device. You're, you're using yeah. a different device, but but it's yours as well. Uh, it's my <laughs> same computer, but I have two systems operative. So I, I have- uh, oh, excuse Ubuntu, me. Ubuntu and Windows. <laughs> and... Yeah, excuse me, oh, oh, may I apologize for that sorry, inconvenience. Sorry, I, didn't, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you to, no, to and, make uh, you feel something comfortable. I have oh. other, other name. It's my second name. It's your middle name. Yeah, my middle name. Oh, Mr. James. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, that's cool. James Bond. James Bond. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no! Please don't that's push him too much. No. No time to die. Yeah, that's oh the my, real song. Oh my God! No way! No way! I'm my gonna suffer. Like James Bond's movie, so that's you. You don't like James Bond movie? No. no oh, my oh, father. Seven, my father like James Bond. He loves it. So, so this is the reason why my name. My, my middle name is James. Now we know there's a background of your name. Okay, that's awesome. So would you like us uh, to call you uh, by James or by Henry? Uh, oh, Mr. J. I don't have problems. For double, For me, oh, seven. It's the same in, in high school. My classmates uh, call me James because we had uh, other classmate that is his name is, is Henry. His so, name was Henry, okay. So they say me okay. James to... Uh, like Just to make the difference. All right. Uh, yeah. To make the difference. Well, we can make a deal if you want. If the other uh, Henry arrives, we're going to call you James. <laughs> but if for some reason there is no other Henry today, it will be you will be Henry, right? What do you think about that? You like the deal? And some people say me, call me Hamis. <laughs> Hamid. Uh, oh, of course, because that's, that's the way you write it, right? Okay. Yeah. All right. In oh, the Spanish. Mis oh, Mr. Chanti? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. But, but what happened? But what happened? What, what happened is appear the other Henry, other James. What happened? Triple well, first, seven. first of all, there's no other James. Uh, For me. So we're good. So we're good. But it could be Mr. James or Mr. Harry one, or Mr. Harry two, or if you if you also we can say Monte Rosa with a Z. 
a Monte Rosa with mm. an S. We have many options, so don't worry about it, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have plenty class today. Hi, Francisco. Welcome to the jungle. We go to the class. All right, Thank Maria. You very much. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, I like his voice. He has a ready voice. There you go. We have <laughs> Myrna. We have Elsie. Yeah, or oh, Elsa, right? Mr. Lewis, Anita, Amilker. All right, very good. And Fabio and Katy. Hi, Katy. Katy, I like the color of your blouse. Thank you. It's prettier. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, very good. Hey, didn't you see uh, something different in Fabio's outfit today? <laughs> ah, you already untied it, right? You're untied it. Luis Aguilar, Mr. Aguilar, it's been a pleasure to have you in class. Hey. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Where have you been? I start tonight. <laughs> really? Class. Oh, you start yes. tonight. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're safe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a, li a little scared. You're a little scared? <laughs> what? Because I. But they have told it. you about me. Come on, no. <laughs> uh, because I have two months. Uh, I don't practice anymore for English, but I am scared. I no. hope. <laughs> Don't worry, right, guys? Everything's going to be fine, right? Okay. Yeah. You're going to suffer. Maybe you have a grammar heart attack, but that's okay. It's part of the process. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and everybody's like, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I will make Welcome. You feel... Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're more than welcome. I'm <laughs> no, just teasing you. I'm just teasing you, Louis. No, no, no. That's okay. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. But you came in such a really good time because I had to let you know that every class we make a recap of your classmate can, can let you know. So you mm -hmm. got gotta to study or you got to study. It's up to you. You have to first. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, whatever makes you feel comfortable, right? Okay. okay. All okay. right. So in this case, study. All righty. So I want, <laughs> remember guys that I have to let you know, or I have to let you know at the beginning of the class that was last week, <laughs> yeah, on Wednesday, that I will pick one or two of you who let me know how was your day, yeah, because we will keep on practicing a simple path because most of the time you ended up to forget about that, right? Okay, so it's really, really important just to like keep on practice. All right, James and Harry. So we have Mr. Molina and Mr. Monterosa. All right, let's go. Cool. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so do me a favor. Uh, Francisco. Hmm? <laughs> okay. okay. I, uh, sometimes, Luis, I choose dedocratically, right? <laughs> okay. Just to aware, be aware of that. Okay, Amil, uh, uh, Francisco, tell us a little bit about your day. How was your day today? My day uh, was special because really okay. Why? Um, because um, I finished uh, several works, oh. in my job, and okay. but I but I don't finish the all at all. All right. <laughs> Okay, but uh, I uh, I run. Uh, I, <laughs> I will I go. Okay. <laughs> so um, the weather is special in these days because I like the cold. Me too. And the windy days. Really. And I I don't like the hot days. I don't Neither like do the. I. Humidity, 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 uh -huh. humidity. Uh -huh. okay. it, it's horrible. Yes. And I like the cold. I lived in, 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 my, in my past. I lived in Guatemala City in wow, you used to live the, there. ever okay. 17 or 25 grade degrees. Uh, but not not thirty five or four. Like here, <laughs> here, yeah. yeah. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> Do you already have a your dinner? But any chance? <laughs> my dinner. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> what you, you can, you can, oh my goodness. You see how focused is on his jaw right now that he forgot it? Well, we can do something. Oh, you, you can eat yes. twice after class. 
I ate the uh, burritos. Burritos. Yes. Uh, homemade burritos or the one you homemade. 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 Oh, did you yes. prepare them? In this case, not. Your but wife. I I I, I can I can prepare. I can. So you consider a Mexican chef? Mexican, yes. Mexican food and, chef, yeah. But but it's not my uh, um, your strong part. A specialty. A specialty. My specialty is Italian food. Oh my goodness! Yes, <laughs> so romantic. Different, different types of pasta. <clears throat> okay. And really? I, I I make a. a with flour and eggs, not uh, pasta in the supermarket. It's, so you prepare make... your own pasta yes, from I zero. My own pasta. Oh my goodness. Yes. Isn't it amazing, guys? Have a husband like that? <laughs> yes, it's romantic. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you, you put two candles with two glass of wine. Oh my god, a romantic music in the background. There will be like uh, lower lights, you know what? And that's pretty cool. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You see, and I already make the whole as an adder, right? <laughs> I yes. already that. And we we need a wine cup in this moment. Of course, <laughs> in this moment, okay. <laughs> well, lucky you, man. Lucky yeah. you because I cannot drink any alcoholic things right now. Very well. Yeah, but that's cool. All right, thank you, Frank. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, what about you, Alex? How was your day today? Uh, my day really is was cool and good because oh. yesterday I I have a, a had sale. That? Had that? Had a sale. Sale. Uh -huh. A big Ooh. sale because I, uh, in the enterprise we have a chairs, a, a PC chairs. It's like a, a cavalry, uh, like Tiffany. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the pandemic, okay. for the have, pandemic, uh, for, for the pandemic, we have a uh, storage the oh, chairs. Okay. But yesterday, appear a customer in a hey, just told me, hey, I need to one hundred chairs. Things. Things I got, and today, uh, uh, her. You picked the map. Yes. Ooh. Yes, it's good for me. Thanks yeah. a lot. Really good. Really good. good. Yeah. So yes. there are no more shares of the storage. No, no. Yes, yes, ah. I have because I have four hundred. But oh. uh, but but sale but sale. Um, a hundred. One hundred. Yes, it's good. It's, it's cool. Good. Of really course, good. it's good. Yes. Yes. Oh my God! As a congratulation, that's Thank why you you are so happy and you have a big yes, smile. Yes, really, I'm happy. <laughs> yes. yeah. At what time did you arrive back home today? Uh, uh, two two hours ago. Because two hours two hours ago. Yes. Around six something. Um. Six fifteen. Maybe a, no no no. Or maybe at the four four p.m. Because ah, at 4 the Yes, yes. Oh, three. Oh. I, I don't remember the time. Ah, uh, yes, no. At uh, four, four hours ago. Yes. Oh, that's cool. So that yeah. means at 4 p.m. That's good, right, guys? Yeah, arriving at yeah, 4. Of course. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, I finished my work three hours ago. So that's good. Today. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Today, so that, but I'm continuing with you, so I'm still good. I'm so happy. You okay. cannot imagine how how much I love and I wait for these classes to start. Okay. Because I love to be with you guys. You cannot imagine. Thank uh, it's, you. It's doing to, to do something <laughs> else what I'm doing every single day. So that's great. All righty, guys. So thank you so much. Very good. Okay, guys. So let me ask you something. Remember that we play games for memory games? We haven't played it so long. So who's, who said between Mr. Frank and Mr. Alex, who said that um, he ate burrito? Who said that? Francisco. Francisco. Francisco, exactly. Who 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 made a really big sale today? Alex. Alexander. Alex. Who? Alex. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> uh, who of the two really interesting and amazing guys that we have today uh, said um, that he's 
specialty is Italian food. Francisco. 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 Oh my God. And the, by any chance, did he go to the supermarket and buy all the pasta no. there? No, he prepares the, the pasta. Oh my okay. goodness. Isn't it amazing? The floor. <laughs> you know what? Hopefully, we can see each other alive one day. We can have a picnic together and we can ask Francisco. Francisco, please make the pasta. Yeah, yeah, we can. Hey, you bring the the, uh, the cheese. You bring the bread. You bring the salad. You bring the wine, and that would be a really good picnic. <laughs> that would be awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, who's barking? Who's barking? <laughs> hey, Alex, is it your baby dog? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's okay. No <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, we. I think he wants to be part of the class, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah right Kathy I saw your little baby dog there yeah that's cool that's cool I'm okay with that don't worry about it hey guys remember what we saw yesterday anybody uh remembers that now yeah I know one of the time one of the time yes I know that everybody wants to participate but hold your horses guys hold your horses yes last thing was jobs we were talking about jobs. Yeah, we were talking about jobs. We listen, right? We were going to listen in an interview about a career debate. Yeah. There were like uh, two opinions for each career. I think it was like total eight opinions in total, right? And you let me know if you agree or disagree with that, right? Remember that? Okay, cool. But before we continue with that, that teacher, um, I let you know that I'm, I don't have an elephant memory, right? But in, in English, I do. So I remember that I gave it to you at homework and it was about three sentences that we're supposed to like try to put the link sound together in order to work with a pronunciation. And at the same time, you're supposed to uh, pronounce it for everybody. Do you guys remember? Yeah, don't Just worry, sentence. Luis. Don't worry, Luis. Don't get panic, okay? Don't worry. Calm down. <laughs> You're gonna listen to your classmates, but maybe tomorrow. No, tomorrow. I ah, yes, tomorrow because tomorrow is Thursday. We still have class. Yes. Yes. Uh, I I don't know why. For me, it's Thursday and tomorrow is Friday. I don't get it. But that's <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, I'm getting older. That's may, maybe because I want the weekend to come faster, right? And sooner. That could be the reason why. Okay. So volunteer. Thank you so much for participating. Go ahead, Elsie. First one or 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 three? Uh, well, yeah, the three of them will be fine. But do me a favor, wear with me because I'm gonna like pop it up in the screen so that everybody can see it. Okay? Okay. So allow me just a couple of minutes. I remember that I left that homework for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Let me check. Let me try to switch for this. Da -da 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 -da. All righty. Okay, I'm going to switch it. And uh, there you go. Okay. Go ahead, girl. I can stand in when someone is late for an appointment. Okay, very good. Continue. Does it bother you when a fan is unreliable? Uh uh. Again, you, it's a question. Bother, okay. Ah, yeah, okay. Doesn't it burden you when a friend is unreliable? Again. Doesn't it burden you when a friend is unreliable? Again. <laughs> doesn't it does doesn't it burden burden you when I, a friend is unreliable? Aha, uh -huh, kind of. Very good. I will I will help you and leave you with the with the last one. Go ahead. Okay. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Very good. Not too bad. Very good. Any other participant? Very good. Or oh, big team? Sorry. Yes, of course, participant. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Frank. You can do it, Frank. Okay, Frank, I listen to you. Okay. It upsets me when a person is unreliable. All right. Second one? Of course, go ahead. I love it when a friend is supportive of kind. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 
It, what about number two? Number two. Yeah. I love it when a friend is supported of a kind. No, no, no. The one that, that, the one that I have it here on my screen. Remember that we have three? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, yes. Ah, I was okay, like, what okay, is he doing? Okay. <laughs> That's okay. No problem. Okay. Does it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Uh huh. Number three. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, do it one more time, the last one for me. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good. Much better. Very good. Excellent. Fabio, okay. what about you? Okay, I can stand it when someone is late for an appointment. Uh -huh. Uh, does it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Uh -huh. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Very good, very good, excellent. Hey, Alex, what about you? You want to try? Alex. Hello. Alex, hello. You want to try the pronunciation? <laughs> of course. Okay, go ahead, sir. Okay, I can't stand it when someone is late for an appointment. Mm -hmm. That is better when your friend is unreliable. Unreliable? Unreliable? Mm -hmm. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Very good, very good. All right, uh, do me a favor. Try to pronounce for me the second one because it's supposed to be a question, right? So I need a question okay. intonation. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Does this bother you when a friend is not unreliable? Very good, excellent. All right, let me double check. What else? And, and, and what about you, <coughs> Mr. James? Okay, uh, I can see the first and the first, the first part. Okay, okay. I can I can stand stand it when someone is late for an appointment. Very good. I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I can stand it when someone is late for an appointment. Do me a favor. Try to do it again. Good pronunciation. Congratulations. But try to do it a little bit faster. I can stand it when someone is late for an, for an appointment. Very good. Go ahead. Does it, bother, does it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Yay! Very good. Okay, I, I have, I have some problems. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. you see? Okay. What, I, practice I hate perfection. It. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good, very good. But guys, I want you guys to do me a favor. Try to like pronounce goes and off together. Goes off. Goes, goes off. off. Goes, goes, off. off. goes, goes off. off. Goes off. Right? Goes goes off. off. Exactly. Go ahead, goes Henry. Off. One more time, Mr. James. I hate I hate, I hate it. it. When, I, yeah, I hate it when a cell phone goes off in a cl in class. Very good. One more time. Don't be panicked. Say it one okay, more okay. time. I hate when a uh, cell phone mm -mm. goes off. I hate it. You forgot the it. Okay, go ahead. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Again, goes off together. I hate it when a cell phone goes off in class. Very good. That's okay. by James. Excellent. Okay. Anita, what about you, Anita? <laughs> okay. I can stand it when someone is late for an appointment. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Mm -hmm. I hate it when a cell phone goes up and goes up in class. Very good. Okay, guys. So now do me a favor. Regarding what we saw yesterday, that we had to like join the final consonant sounds, link it to a vowel sound. Here on the first one, where do you link it? Which which part did you join it? For example, stand it. Stand it. Stand it. Stand it. Yeah. What else? Stand it. Late. Late. Go off. You said a stand it. Oh uh, yeah. Oops. Mm -hmm. You said a stand it, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Some is. No, no, no. No, right. Some no. An appointment. An appointment. An appointment. An appointment. Yeah. An appointment. Yeah. What about number two? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what it. else? Buena. 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 Very Buena good. Friend. Okay. Sound right. Friends. 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 Very good. 
and unreliable as well. Mm -hmm. unreliable. Okay. Very good. What about Friend number three? Unreliable. I hate it. I hate it. Buena. 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 What else? Buena. 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 Exactly. Guys, I had to uh, just like a quickly reminder. I know that you already saw that, so I can, I'm not going to like <laughs> focus on this uh, like 100%. But may I ask you something? Mm, let me check something here. This one is much better. What kind of uh, question is the second one? What kind of question is that? Of course, it's present, right? Mm, of course, mm -hmm. it's yeah. a present tense. Of course, the auxiliary does. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. but may, like, ma, what kind of question is that? Yes okay. or no question? Exactly. Very good. Why I mentioned that, guys? Why I mentioned just no question? Good job, Mr. James. You see? <laughs> yeah, you meet. Yes, 007 works. Yes. Very good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Hey." laughs> All right. Yeah. So why I'm asking you that kind of a question, guys, because I, I don't know if you have uh, if you know that if they had teach you that before. I don't know. But any kind of just no question doesn't matter if you use it with a bird to be doesn't matter if you use it with the auxiliary do in this case or does right It's for a third person. All of the um, just no question. The pronunciation goes a little bit up. Mm. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. So, for example, in this, it is in the sentence. Does it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Remember that. Does mm. it bother you? Does it bother you? Right? Does it bother, Does it bother you? you? A little bit when up. A when a friend is unreliable. When a friend is unreliable. When a friend is unreliable. Don't don't mm. like scream. Right? Does it bother you? No, no, no. Does it bother you? Does it bother just a, let's a little bit, life, your tone of voice a little bit, raise up a little bit, yeah? And all the just no question, the intonation goes up. Okay. In a WS question, an informative question, like a WH questions, for example, the intonation goes up. Mm, okay, yes. so that's what I was uh, like, focus on that. And also, uh, Elsie almost have a heart attack, right? Because of that, <laughs> yeah. But that's why I ask you a lot of time because what I want to do is that if when you speak, you gotta do it well. You gotta pronounce it correctly. Because for example, you know that you're asked that you're asking question, but if you do mm -hmm. not put the correct intonation, your listener wouldn't know. Or okay. it will think, is that person asking me a question or is saying something to me? Oh okay. right. So okay. that's why it's really, really important. The intonation. All righty. So who yeah. want to practice? Luis, welcome. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Would you like to practice the intonation for sentence number two? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, I'm not asking you. I, I just give you an option, right? Um, so he, he, you better say yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, pronounce for me second uh, sentence number two, please. Does his butter... Does it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Unreliable? Unreliable. Very good. Again, you can do it. Does it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Very good. Now it's good pronunciation, Luis. What I want right now is that you can make a pause uh, when, when a friend is. No, you got to say it all in once. So you can do it. One more time, please, Luis. You can do it. Okay. Does his butter when you? I'm uh -uh. sorry. Does his butter you when a friend is unre unreliable? Uh huh. Does it bother you? Does it bother you when a friend is unreliable? Very good. Excellent. Hey guys, it's not does. It's does. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it bother you? Okay. Does it bother you? Does it bother? And no bothers. Does it bother you? Why, why not bothers and, and is bothered? Why? Well, because I'm already using it's does. And does automatically transfer the sentence into third into third person, right? Or question in yeah. third person. So the, the verb bother, I don't longer need to put it in third person. Mm -hmm. Because it's already, we're already using does. That doesn't make sense, right? 
and, and and if you if you notice guys does it bother you bothers is related to you not to the situation right so you gotta pay attention of what is exactly uh the verb is related to what subject right so i know i know sometimes it's really complicated right i know that but i told you they're gonna love grammar with me <laughs> all right so very good congratulations byron <laughs> you came just on time but don't worry, I'm going to ask you at the end of the class. The, the don't worry. I was homework. typing you the... the you were typing us? Why I'm late. Uh, yeah. but, but you don't know what? Nothing. I, I didn't receive any information, any message. No, right now I was typing ah. here on Zoom because I got confused because on the computer I have the the time from United States for the daylight saving. I know. So ah. it's 19.33. So I'm so sorry. And then <laughs> I realized... <laughs> that it's 8.33, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's okay, you know what? That happens to me because I, I, I had the same problem as Byron, right? Because I work for the United States. So it's really interesting that I'm looking on my, well, on the clock that I have at home and on the yeah. clock that I have a computer and I was like, well, <laughs> two hours late, no way, that's not possible. Because I, yeah. that was really interesting because I log in today at six, in the morning of the United States, eight in the morning here, because we were with the East Coast, right? So yeah. I, I I forgot that, that on not on November <laughs> there's a day left savings, so we have to go back in no one hour, two hours. And, yeah. I, th and I think it ended up on February or March. I don't remember exactly. March. Yeah. March, right? March, I think. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> I completely <Based>. forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah, I forgot that completely, but now, yes. Yeah, yes. but I'm here. <laughs> yes, Thank that's you. what I'm happy, yeah. With a new hairstyle, by the way. And a curly uh, hair here. Today, today I went to the to the office because those days I, I've been at home. Uh, so, and today I got a presentation that I told you the last week. Yes, yes, remember, with the time constraints, right? That's uh -huh. right. <laughs> So that's why that's he why looks like right. some action. <laughs> I yeah, man, I, oh my God. Maria said, is that Byron? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. to, to, today yeah. took a shower. Yes. Yeah. So that's she why he's having really good. <laughs> with the CEO. <laughs> with the CEO, yeah. exactly. I remember yes. that with the client. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, guys. You know what? It's really good what we're talking because remember that the last thing that we saw yesterday was related to flight attendants, right? Talking about veterinarians and all the stuff. And you listened uh, um, people's point of view about the different careers. And re remember, guys, that I told you that when we were talking about um, what do you think about the term and job, you need to use what we call in English gerunds. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. The gerunds, guys, uh, well, normally gerunds form with ing form. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like working, being, yeah, staying, already. But when you're talking about careers, if you, what is uh, the pros and the advantages, right, of a specific profession, uh, you're talking about somebody else, or you can talk about your profession, you can use gerunds. There are so many ways to express your point of view in English, guys. But in this case, we're going to focus on gerunds because gerunds, you can also use it as a subject or you can use it as an object. Object. Yes, either or. If you use it as a subject, mm -hmm. always will be at the beginning of the sentence. And of course, after that, yes. you're going to use something else, right? Another another word, another adjective to describe the profession. And if you use it as an object, most of the time, it is after a verb or in the middle of the sentence. I will show you an example regarding what the picture that I sent to you yesterday that I think because Louis was not here, uh, you don't have it, right, Louis? So what I'm gonna do, I send it through the WhatsApp if I if I don't remember if I remember right, I think I sent it to the WhatsApp. Am I correct? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> and everybody say yeah. Nobody say yeah. yes. Is it? I yeah. have to answer myself. Yes, yeah, good. <laughs> Sometimes I'm doing like Shakespeare for to be or not to be. That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. So I I send it again, Luis, just for you to have it. 
So it's the one that you have it right now in the WhatsApp. What I remember, guys, I'm going to share right now with you my screen because basically I remember that I told you guys that this was supposed to be the bridge for today's class. So, okay, cool. Okay, this is what you have in the WhatsApp. Is it right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we have for each um, um, profession, we have two point of view, one um, positive, one negative, and you already let me know which one you're agreeing, which one you're disagreeing with. I remember that. Okay, yeah. so let's check it out as a subject. Let's check it out on the first example, guys. You see? Mm -hmm. Being. Yeah. Being. Being. Being a flight Being. attendant. Mm -hmm. the, in this case, the gerund is here at the beginning. Yes. Being a flight attendant sounds very exciting. Okay, yeah. so here the gerund guys works as a subject. Subject. Yeah, because it's the yeah. beginning of the of the sentence, and you're talking about like, a, what could be a pro if you're a flight attendant? Okay, mm -hmm. but how is gerund used as an object? Take a look at the one behind that we were talking about animals working with animals. Let's say that I've enjoyed working okay. with animals. In this case, the gerund is here after the main verb enjoy, right? Yeah. And we had yes. here what is the abbreviation of would. Would. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Remember, yes. guys, okay, because yes. also you can abbreviate the verb have, right? Remember that? Yes. Yeah. But you got to check on the verb that is next to the abbreviation in order to double check or to make sure if it's had or if it's would. Remember? Okay. Most of the time, if it's had, the verb that is next to it is going to be some past participle. Past participle. Okay. okay. Right. Yes. So that's why it's really important to learn the verbs by heart. Yes. All righty. Very good. So okay. in this case, it's the abbreviation of would. So you gotta pronounce yes. it I'd. 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 I'd enjoy with working with animals. So in this case, working guys or the gerund, it is making the function of a sub of an object. Object. Okay. okay. Because yes. if, you, if you if you notice that, let me check and switch another color. If you notice that, what is the subject here? I. 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 Exactly. So in this case, the object is I. So basically when you're using the gerund as an object, it's like a compliment your, uh, why you think you like that kind of job, okay? All right, let's, for example, we have it here. Take a look on the TV industry, the last um, career that we saw or we heard yesterday. I like to work in a television industry. This one, there's no um, gerund, right? No. However, in the second part, it is. Directing. Directing a TV show will be really interesting. So in this, is it subject or is it object? Sub what do you think? Subject. Subject. Exactly. subject. Very good job. Exactly. So if you guys, if you know, guys, you can do it either at the beginning. Well, if you put it at the beginning of the sentence, the gerund definitely is going to be a subject. And in the middle of the sentence, going to be an object. However, you can, for example, use first of all the gerund as um, as an object, and then you can use it as a subject in the same is in the same uh, point of it. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let me double check something. Let me go back here, and let me give you an example. I have an example here just for you to make like a friendly reminder. If it, it's not complicated, guys, at all. Is it not complicated? Just basically, you can say the same thing, depends on how you use your gerund. Do me a favor, Byron, now that you arrived such in a good time. <laughs> Could you please be so kind to read for me only the gerund phrases as a subjects that you see here? Okay. All this part. All of them, please. Okay. Jerem phrases as subject. Mm -hmm. Being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Designing clothes, it's not a man's job. Working as, an, working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. Mm -hmm. Yes. Working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. Mm -hmm. 
directing a TV show will be interesting. 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 Very good. Only one more time, only this one. This one. Could you please read for me the number one, please? Being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Yeah, now it's good. You know what? <laughs> I, I forgot, forgot the S. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> forgot the S at the beginning. And I told you, 10 years in a call center is not enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I could detect that something was missing. Very good. Excellent. Now, guys, check the difference that using gerund phrases as an object. Maria, do me a favor. Can you read it for me, please? The whole sentences. Oh. Everyone phrases as an as objects. Mm -hmm. He loved being a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't like being a fashion designer. Mm -hmm. She'd enjoy working with animals. Mm -hmm. She'd be good at, at directing a TV show. Again, the last one. Okay. She'd be good at directing a TV show. A directing a TV show. Directing a TV show. Okay. No, TV show, no, TV show. TV show. 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 Excellent. Do it again, please. The whole sentence. Show. Okay. She'll be good at directing a TV show. Again, TV show. A TV show. No, show. 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 See? No. I don't know. Show. <laughs> Show. Excellent. Because it's show. a show. Show, no. no. Show. Show. Okay. Do, do me a favor. Try okay. to imagine that you have your husband in front of you. Okay. As <laughs> yes, he said, show. Show. Oh my, you see? It works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it works, right? Yeah, yeah. You're throwing him a kiss. Show. <laughs> Show and you know what? After class, she will be practicing the show. Show, show, show. And, and the husband is, What happened with Maria? Yeah, no, yeah. I, I just trying to throw me a kiss. No, darling, I just practicing a word that I learned in today's show. English class. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you see, yeah, you know, it's practical. I remember, guys, when I started learning French. Uh, I had a, uh, well, my teacher was really, really amazing in, uh, French teacher uh, because he sided with the Lance Frances and he went to France to uh, continue and finish his training and everything. But he he said, I, I, I am a Naco Pipil, Wanaco, et cetera. And he was short and a little bit fat, but he was really fancy. And he said, because you know what? I speak English and French is totally different. Yeah, the, the English is like oral and L, right? And the French is like the nose and your your throat. So he, he said, if you don't have a boyfriend or, or, a, or a girlfriend or a husband or a wife, look in the mirror and do like this. And you will see that you will get your facial muscle used to the pronunciation and it will work. And you know what? It works. It works. So that's why maybe Maria, you can laugh. Like, like, mm -hmm. oh my God, this teacher. What what it why she come up with such a, such an ideas, right? Just like a crazy ideas. But you know what? Even though you're laughing, that works. That really works. So do me a favor. Try to pronounce a show. Maria, mm -hmm. try to pronounce show for me. Show. You see, oh. you it works. Okay. Very good, excellent job. So guys, in order for you to um, express your point of view about different careers or different jobs, what we're doing right now with Jaron, you will need to have um, like a little bit of help regarding vocabulary, right? Regarding vocabulary and regarding also expressions besides wood, right, uh, or, or auxiliaries that you can use in the middle between the gerund and in the middle and then the adjective. So they can help you join the ideas and make you feel interesting, your point of view regarding a specific type of job. So you know what? The teacher have thought about that already and I will give you a help, okay? But I'm have, I have divided into three columns. The first is going to be gerunds, 
The second one is going to be the, the linking words, right? And then the last column is going to be the adjective. We have a lot of adjectives, right? Maybe you already know some of them. Maybe some of them will be brand new for you. I don't know. But I want you guys to try to use the idea of the three of them and try to make the sentences. Okay? This is going to be a really good practice. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. Let me try to click on it. Oof. All right. Let me see. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you, you will like it. This is going to be really interesting. All right. Okay. Okay, now that I already have my my tool ready <laughs> let me show it to you back there you go you ready yeah? yeah yeah i have the general phrases that we have learned just for you to to have a help right but if you can see guys we have three columns a is gerund as a subject or as an object in this case in this case guys if you can see all of them is related to a subject, right? General mm -hmm. subjects. So you can also use the information of B and okay, also the information of C to construct a sentence. Let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't have anything against accounting people, okay? So don't take it personally if you're accounting, okay? But also I can say, guys, working as an accountant will be kind of boring. No. That's my point of view. No. Yes. <laughs> no. No. Is Maybe it... it's stressful. General. It's general. Yes. Working as an accountant could be kind of boring. Could be kind of boring. Yeah, it's general. Yeah, I don't have anything against accounting. Because my grandpa, who is who's 90, 94 years old, yeah, he's an accountant. <laughs> he's a yes. Yeah, so... No, no, no. He will kill me. No, 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 no. But I don't have anything against that. So you see how it works? That you get this information in the middle and then, and then you construct a sentence. Okay. So uh, I want to volunteer. And it, you know what? Of course, I always would choose that attractively. Okay. So let me double check right now. Let me go back. Let me switch my screen. Let me share it with you. There you go. All right. So I already did the number one. Number two, taking care of children. Kati. Can you please do it for me? Okay. Um, designing clothes. No, 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 no. Number three, number two. Ah, uh, number two. Taking okay. care. Yeah, designing clothes. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> 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 Oops, that's a hard one. Taking care of children. Taking care of children. It would be fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, very good. And Byron said, no, that sounds stressful. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, for some of us, it would be great because we love kids. But for some of you, it's good. not right. So it depends, of course. All righty. Uh, what about number three, uh, Noemi? Noemi. Noemi, Noemi, Noemi. Mirna. Noemi. Hello, teacher. Hello. I, I thought of Houston, we have a problem here. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, but no, there's being no problem. Okay, hey. Being a farmer sounds. Sounds, uh, sounds. Sounds a kind of boring. Okay, very good. For her, it's kind of boring. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, Alex, what about you? Designing clothes, number four. Okay. Designing clothes. Sounds uh, fascinating. Very good, excellent. Also, guys, you can use could be, would be, and must be. Okay, you can use all yes. of them. Uh, very good. Number five, uh, uh, Francisco. Working on a movie set could be fantastic. Very good, excellent. Uh, number six, Anita. Make it. Anita. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> oh my God, we have two Anitas, right? Both Anitas, yes. <laughs> oh my Three, God, six. let me check which Anita that I have here. Anita Pineda. 
Anita Pineda, yeah. Which one, sorry? Uh, number six. Making a living mm -hmm. as an artist. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't put a pay attention, sorry. Oh, that's okay. So in this case, Anita Dimas, right? What's okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, making a living as an Huh? As an artist? I, I don't listen to you, sorry. Does she has a problem with the, with the internet? That could be, right? Maybe. Yeah. All righty, who can give her a hand? Oh, Rigoberto, go ahead with the sixth one. Uh, making a living as an artist could be very challenging. Yeah, you're, I'm agree with you. What about number <laughs> seven, James? Doing volunteer work, work overseas uh, could be fantastic. Yeah, that's good. Number eight, uh, a milker. Ooh. Number eight. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, of course. Number eight. Pretending mm -hmm. at the age 40 mm -hmm. it could be very challenging. Really? Do you think so? Must oh, be very sounds fascinating. fascinating. Ooh, sounds fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, You're already. Fascinating. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you see how it works, guys? It's not complicated, right? Not really. No, 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 not really. Yeah. So do me a favor. Uh, I Let me check it uh, out. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who said sorry? <laughs> uh, because I broke the ice. It's my first participation in this class. No, that's okay. No problem. It's good. But do me a favor. Uh, now that you're uh, expressing your opinion, uh, Milker, about a retiring at age of 40, you said it could be very challenging. May I ask you, give me a reason for your opinion? What do you think about that, like that way? <laughs> uh, I believe that I don't have any reason. <laughs> I, 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 construct, I construct the, the paragraph only. Only. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. So he doesn't have any reasons. But no. All righty. So, but me? guys, are you agree with his construction or you are disagree with it? What do you think, guys? 50%. Yeah? It would be fascinating? It must yeah, be fascinating. right? Yeah. Okay, now, James, I want your opinion about doing volunteer work overseas. It uh, could be fascinating, you said. What do you think about that? Because... I, I'm not sure if I understand the word overseas. 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 What mean overseas? What is mean the, overseas? What does it mean, on guys? On a chips? On a chips? Travel on the chips. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. When you travel on the ocean, like a cruise. On the, like, mm -hmm. And on you the go ocean. on another countries. A oh, mariner, okay. like yeah. a mariner. Exactly, like, like a, marine. a marine. Like a marine, yeah. Okay, mm. I I have a bad idea because I seen that it was like the people that clean the the beach or something or, or the sea. <laughs> so so for me it was like it was like that. So no, but that's okay. You see, you <laughs> no, learn that's something. The, that's the reason why I say that it was uh, it's, it's uh, fascinating okay, for me. Okay, yeah. You mean the one who cleans the beaches and all of that? Yeah. Like a volunteer yeah. of that is nice. I don't know. Maybe for some overseas could be a part of their job. Could be. But most of the time, no. They travel all around the world over the sea. Hey, um, and Louis, do you have a, jo a dog? Yes, I have a dog. And Don't and worry. He wants to be part of the class. That's fine. It's a little dog. It's a little dog, dog, and he comes like a Scooby-Doo, right? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Give me your phone. She is a uh, Wanda. Wanda? Wanda. Yeah. Wanda. Yes. I, I remember Somewhere Joey's like house the... or girlfriend. Okay. 
Yeah, <laughs> the yeah. dog is house. Oh my god! Uh, How the old is she? Vision. She, uh, she has uh, six months. She is six months. Yes. Oh, oh I like oh, well. it. Oh. <laughs> I love. It. <laughs> I, I'm gonna send a picture of my of my dog is next. No, no, we'll share with you next time. Okay. I have two dogs. One one girl, one boy. Yes. Good. I have two dogs too, but two males. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna send to Fabio a, a, my my a sample of my dog with a bow tie. You know what bow tie is, guys? Bow tie. What? Bow tie. Corbatine. Bow tie. Corbatine. Oh. Bow tie. Okay. There you go. Alrighty, very good, guys. Now we're gonna. We have two minutes left, so it's it's so much fun, <laughs> Ryan. It's interesting. Yes. I think the time doesn't. I, I don't know about you, but I don't feel it. I don't feel the time. So I'm gonna help you with something, guys. Yes. Uh, 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 um. And um, this is going to be your homework. Before I forget, teacher, another homework. Yes. And sorry, Mr. Lewis, but this time you're going to yeah. count. Okay. All don't right. worry. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. At all. At all. At all. So, guys, even though it's going to be a group web work, but uh, I want you guys to complete the sentences with gerund phrases. Okay. And uh, this time, to be honest with you, you are going to practice no gerunds as an object, as a subject. You're going to practice okay. gerund as an object. Object. Okay. All right. And I will give you an example already, just in case. I made the sense. Yeah, there you go. Because you know what? Sometimes it's easy to practice as a subject, right? Because you know there is a beginning at a sentence. But it could be a little bit challenging if you're practicing as an object. Okay. So we're good. You got it? Yep. It's only six sentences. And I give you already an example there. So it will be easy peasy queasy, right? A piece of cake. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. All righty. So what, and then when you come, we're going to work uh, tomorrow on groups. So we can discuss that. All righty. Okay. And you know what? Also, guys. Um, I will I will send you another homework. Would you like to homeworks? Nobody yeah. say anything. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> say anything. It's challenging. Not, but we have to do it. <laughs> and, uh, you know what? That's the attitude that I like. <laughs> you know what? I like homework homework. Sounds I am like difficult. <laughs> You're a liar. No, they're not different. <laughs> you know what? Rem sometimes, guys, um, when we're talking about professions and careers, because your homework will be related to that as well, okay? I'm not mm -hmm. going to invent anything. Uh, we need also to learn about suffix. What? About? Suffixes. Mm -hmm. Sufijos. What it means? Sufijos. Ah. Ah. All right. So, for example, what kind of suffixes? I need to use depending on what type of profession I'm talking about. So in English, we do have, let me let you know, we have a lot of them. Uh, we have um, one, two, three, most common them, four of them. But what I want you guys to do basically is to add a suffix to form the names of these jobs, okay? First of all, you're gonna add it. And then there's another column with the suffixes already there. So you get to add the job according to the suffix that you, that you think that goes with that, with that job. You got it? Yeah? yeah. Or no? Yeah. Are because you there sure? are suffixes in Spanish. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the, the terminations, the termination of the words. Uh. <laughs> Oh, give an example. I'm going to give okay. you an example. Don't worry. Yes, I need example because I okay. don't imagine the structure. For example, you said computer technician. So the shan, shan is the suffix. Yeah, the okay. All right. So that is an example. 
And I think it's already there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that's what I want. In the first part, you have the jobs. So you got to put it only the suffix at the end, right? What, what you want, what you think is correct. And then on the bottom, you have the column separated for suffix. So I want you guys to write it down. Okay. And we, then we're going to compare why it's really important because you cannot imagine what we're going to have tomorrow as a challenge. Oh. Tomorrow, it's guys, fun. it's going to be um, speaking as all the time. Yeah. Oh. But Alex is like, it. Eh, got it. Okay. No, cool. I got it. I <laughs> got it. it. You got it like, eh. I got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> ten, min 10 minutes later. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just teasing you, Alex. Thank all right. you. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. All right. But you know what? It's really important that you have all that because tomorrow, besides speaking, we're going to develop um, something, guys, that email helps you to the uh, regarding your writing skill. Mm. Your writing skill, and doesn't matter if your helps you with your job. Or if for some reason on later on you're gonna take the TOEFL, mm -hmm. yeah, that that kind of exercise will help you a lot that you cannot imagine because the that the writing part is one of the most parts that everybody fails, mm -hmm. and everybody fails mm -hmm. for many reasons. They don't have vocabulary. They use too much redundant words. They don't mm -hmm. know linking works. They forgot punctuation. Mm -hmm. and, and, and also they cannot like, like Salvadorians, right? We, we like to express what is the color of a rose? We're still saying the pigmentation of the petals, blah, 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 <laughs> right? No, we are not like focused straight ahead to answer or to give abstract ideas, right? So basically, mm -hmm. That uh, the exercise for tomorrow in the case of writing, mm -hmm. it will help us in that way to develop okay. that skill. So when you face that, you know what you're gonna do because you know what. For example, the writing skills and the and that section. I know I'm gonna take like one minute of your time. Sorry, <laughs> but I have to explain <laughs> it to you that um, there's two parts. The first part is like an article, for example, tattoos. I, I, it's an example, right? And the outer said, okay, I, I'm against the tooth because of this, 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 this. Okay. So in that article, you got to write an, an essay mm -hmm. saying if you agree or disagree with the outer's point of view. That is part mm -hmm. one. But the part two is that you got to make your own essay. And that is a different part. Yeah, you got to start from the, from the bottom, from the zero, right? And you got to pick a topic. And based on the topic, you gotta make your own essay. So the writing part is two parts. Most of the time you fail in the second one. Yeah? Because you, you have time to do it. You only have one, no, 30 minutes to do that. So that's why since right now, we gotta start doing those kind of exercises in order for you to be ready for that. And of course it will help you in your daily basis, okay? Okay guys, so nice to have you. Welcome, Luis. Hugs and Thank kisses. You. Bye. Take care. Bye, Dalia. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye. You too.